3D printed brass instruments. I have a 3D printer. I do music. I would like to try and put those together. One, make a boo zela. And that's not a brass instrument, but it's a good starting point. Two, maybe make a natural French horn or trumpet, because they should hopefully be like the next step of difficulty. Three is making a trombone. I'm thinking it would be cool to display it open source. So yeah, 3D printed brass instruments. So I got to work making a proof of concept. A 3D printed tube to see if it would make a noise. <coughs> now I could address the main challenge of my project. My 3D printer is not big enough to print an entire instrument in one. So I need to figure out how to join the multiple parts together. I spent a while tweaking how I did this, but ended up deciding on about 5 centimeters of overlap between each tube of the instrument. Now that I knew how to do this, I could make my first instrument. It's done. <laughs> I then made some adjustments to my model and printed off a second version of the Vuvuzela. I like the, the colours, they're very nice. Still has the same dumb sound, <laughs> but is pretty good. With the Vuvuzelas being done and looking pretty good, I decided to move on to the bugles. And I was hoping, because of how easy these Vuvuzelas were to make, that this whole project would fly by very quickly. Got it all made. Unfortunately, that's not how projects work. Update, my bugle doesn't work. Real brass instruments have harmonics, which are discrete jumps between different pitches due to the resonance inside the tubing. My bugle does not do that. Now, I had a few ideas on how to fix this, such as adding a lead pipe, which helps the connection between the mouthpiece and instrument, as well as changing the shape of the bell. However, it still has the same issue, where it just... Oh, it sounds more muffled. I then did some extra testing with just a lead pipe until I found a second source of why it sounds bad. The only difference from the previous one is that I have 100% infill. It actually works. So I got to work on another bugle, this time with 100% infill. I also thought I'd show you how I've been putting the instruments together. I use a bit of super glue on the inside of the tubes and then I have a 3D pen as a sort of welder for the plastic and then I melt them together. Alright, I have the bugle fully finished. I'm liking the colours, but there's still one more thing that I need to test. Does it actually play? <laughs> It doesn't have the, the harmonics, which I'm a bit disappointed by. I continued to play around with the bugle until I noticed something very interesting. I feel like I can feel air coming through this. This is just a piece of tube, and if I play it, the sound clearly comes out the end. I'm going to add a mouthpiece and the kitchen funnel, that's all you need. And. It's a little disheartening to know that effectively, like, three bucks to be outperformed by three months' work. A little disheartening, but it shows what the issue is air escapes from the bugle. PLA isn't watertight, so it's going to be it's certainly not going to be airtight. So it's a kind of a what was I thinking kind of thing. It all sounds horrible when I play. Because the air's just going everywhere. So how do we fix that? Resin. We love resin. I've never used it before. So I did some looking up on how to do it. I think I know how to do it now. We'll be fine. 
Hopes are, uh, when I put the resin on the instrument, it'll look shinier. It might even be a little bit stronger and it will actually work is the, the main hope. So we'll see. The resin coating's done. It's a lot shinier now, which is what you'd expect. But the important thing is it actually works now. So I can, I'm no longer worried that it's all gonna fail. I think I'm pretty much ready to start looking at the making the natural horn. And then I forgot to record myself. All right, I'm back. It's been a while, but I've been busy. I've made the horn. Overall, I'm very happy with how this now looks. We'll get into how it sounds in a bit. It's not the only thing I've done though. I also made a newer Boozella. But I also gave this one a resin coat and the sound quality of it is much better. It actually sounds like it actually works. I'm pretty happy with how progress is going. Um, I think we're getting pretty close to the trombone. And then I really forgot to record myself. Hey, uh, it's been a while. Um, maybe not for you. Um, it has for me. Um, I'm now leaving for America in about four days. So I've done a bit of work on my project. I'm getting pretty close to finishing the trombone. I've also been doing final coats on the bugle and horn just to make sure that they look nice. And I've also been printing off a ton of mouthpieces for the Vuvuzela, mainly because the other instruments, I can have metal mouthpieces, which are easy to wash so people can play them. However, the Vuvuzela, I'm not confident enough in the resin um, to be able to like just be washed, rinse, repeated like that. So with my flight for America being so close and my trombone still unfinished, I had to hope that my trombone worked on the first try. <laughs> Finish the trombone. It actually looks like a trombone. The actual slide moves. Sounds awful, I still need to add oil, but that's fine. actually play. Um, I was surprised at that, at how well it worked. Um, I have clipped my, kind of pinched my fingers and I'm now bleeding. So apart from a blood sacrifice needed to play the instrument, it's functional. So that's very good, especially considering I'm leaving for America today. Um, so I really couldn't have cut it any closer, but I think that's how it works with pretty much every project. The other instruments, I think, also work pretty well. So the horn itself looks phenomenal. I'm really happy with how it looks, how it sounds. Awful, it sounds awful. Basically, most of the inside of the, in the walls of the tubes are just hollow, which completely ruins the, the resonance. So, unfortunately this one will never sound good how much, no matter how much resin I put on it. Either way, I'm still happy with how it looks. It's still kind of playable. You can still like use your hand to play with how all, all horns do, so. Like it still kind of actually functions as a horn. The bugle, I'm actually pretty happy with. Um, it's ended up sounding better than the horn. So that's good. And last is the Boobazela. 
Um, sounds actually pretty good. Out of all the instruments, I would probably put them in an order of, in their complexity, I would put Vuvuzela, Bugle, Horn, Trombone. However, for how good they sound and how like good the final product was, I would put it in the order of Horn, Bugle, Vuvuzela, Trombone. So, overall, pretty good. It was time to leave for America, but more importantly, open source. Oh. What an amazing experience it was to see everyone there and see them all just as passionate about their own project as I was. Thank you to everyone who stopped by my exhibit and gave the instruments a play. I think my two favourite players were the horn player who managed to play the horn Strauss concerto opening on my horn. <laughs> and also the furry who was amazing on the bugle. I'd also like to say thanks to Lily Pichu for coming and checking out the exhibit. It was really fun having you there. At Open Source, I also got approached by some people from Scan the Wild who do 3D photo scans of people, and I managed to get one with me and my instruments, which is really cool. I also got to meet Big Rig Creates, who's a 3D printing YouTuber that actually inspired me to start 3D printing a few years ago. So it was really cool to be able to talk to him, and he's a trombone player, it turns out, so he got to have a fun play of the trombone. On the second day of Open Source, I got a bunch of the music exhibits together, and we all had a jam session, which was really cool. Finally, I found out I wasn't the only one doing 3D printed instruments. Neoluthi is a small group that does 3D printed violins, and after the convention they were nice enough to give me their one of the 3D printed violins that they were making at the convention. I proposed that we do an instrument swap, and now they have one of my boobazalas, so I hope it's sounding amazing for you guys. Open source came and went just like that, and it was time to head home. However, when I got home and opened up my instruments, I found out that TSA decided to check them, and by check, I mean break. At least it happened after the convention, and not while I was heading there. In this last section, I'm just going to go over some of the questions and suggestions that everyone gave me while at open source. Have I thought of using a metal 3D printer? If I had a metal 3D printer, or access to one, I would probably just buy an instrument. It would be cool to try, but I think that would be very, very far down the line. Am I planning on releasing the models anywhere? Yes. Not yet though. Um, there's still a few things that I want to fix with the models and the designs of the instruments, but give me a little bit longer and I'll get the models out somewhere for people to have a go with. Have I considered doing vapor smoothing? Not yet, because all of these instruments are made with PLA. So vapor smoothing is when you use ABS, you can use acetone to smooth off the edges. That'll help give it a nice shine. However, I've never used ABS before, but I'm thinking of trying to move on to AB using ABS. So maybe in future. What are my future plans for this project? I want to try remaking these instruments out of ABS as I think it would be both better for the resonance and stronger as the instrument so it doesn't break as much. 
I also want to try and increase the complexity of my instruments. So I've made a trombone, but the next step might even be trying to make a valved trumpet or a valved French horn. Those will be pretty difficult, so we'll have to see. Another direction I could look at is exploring other families of instruments. Probably not strings, but woodwind and percussion, I definitely want to see what I can do with the 3D printed instruments. Am I planning on going back to open source again? Yes, I am. However, it'll probably be in about two or three years, just because it's a long distance for me to travel, and if I'm gonna come back, I wanna have something really cool to show. All right, that about wraps everything up. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you now know how to make a 3D printed brass instrument. I hope to put some more updates about this project, and maybe even some other projects on here in future, so uh, stay tuned. Bye.